Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Wi-Fi is not showing on Dell laptop then how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about if you're having the trouble with the Wi-Fi then this is what you have to do. So just go over here, search for the set, sorry not settings, you have to search here for the services, click on the services. Now from here you have to scroll down and navigate to WLAN Auto Config. You'll be able to find it. Right click and go to the properties. Make sure the startup type is being automatic and also the service state this is running. Just go for if it is stopped you have to click on start and go for ok. Then right click on this once again and go for restart. Then just wait for a bit of time. So what happens is once done you can see it will be grayed out and it will be back again and you have to check that might fix in some cases. Or not what we need to do is we just need to go over here search for the device manager click on the device manager now we need to expand this and go over here for the network adapters now from here we have to find the driver so in my case realtek rtl 8192ue wireless lan is the driver so right click on this one go to the update driver click on search automatically for drivers and make sure it is up to date or you can just right click over here go to update driver click on browse my computer for the drivers click on let me pick a list of available drivers on the computer first you have to select this one and go for the next once it is up to date is done you have to check but still if you're having the trouble just right click go to disable the device then you have to enable it back then you have to close this and you have to check that might work next step is all about we need to run few troubleshoots over here that might work so windows have a troubleshoot option within the system itself so just go over here search for settings click on the settings now from here navigate to the system scroll down and navigate to the troubleshoot and click on other troubleshoots so this is actually a supportive system where windows itself is going to test or run some test in order to fix our issue for me i'm having an issue with over here we have various options like audio network and internet printer windows update so i'm having the trouble with the network and internet so just click on the run so what happens is it will be running some test and giving us the details. For me, in my case, it is all good and it's all connected. So I don't have an issue. But if you're having the trouble, it will give you some set of instructions where you can run all of these and you can find the issue that's going to fix the issue as well. So once done, you have to close this and you have to check. Next one is all about after trying with this one. Still, if it's not working, what we need to do is we just need to go over here. Search for the control panel once again click on the control panel now from here click on network and sharing center now click on change adapter settings now go over here right click and go to the properties now sorry not properties right click and you have to disable it then you have to enable it back or you can go over here click on the diagonize so that will also try out some test from here just like i said we can run some of the test and that will be giving an instruction on how we can fix this from the windows update so i mean from the windows backend the last and the least step what i'm saying is all about you can just make sure one thing make sure the you know you're not turned on the airplane mode so just go to the network and internet make sure if the flight mode is completely turned it off if it is turned it on you'll be having the trouble with the network so just make sure this these are the steps and i hope this kick video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification that's it bye bye